I'm excited to be at Google where we understand the importance of putting people first and not just building better healthcare, but helping people build healthier lives. First, we want to help people be healthier in their daily lives. That's why in 2020 we launched the Fitbit Heart Study, a clinical study directed by doctors at Harvard involving nearly half a million Fitbit users to test our PPG AFib algorithm, which looks at heart rate data passively and can alert users the sign of any irregular heart rhythm. The study results presented at the most recent American Heart Association meeting showed the algorithm accurately identified undiagnosed AFib 98% of the time. That's why, no matter what you're searching for on Google, it's our mission to give you relevant and authoritative information exactly when you need it. COVID-19 has shown how important it is to access timely health information from trusted national and local health authorities. Billions of people from more than 200 countries in dozens of languages have accessed information about COVID on Google. The scale and reach of platforms like YouTube can radically increase equity of access to high quality health information by breaking down barriers between the ivory towers of academia and the everyday people who want to understand how to take better care of themselves and their families. Second, we also partner with their caregivers, providing tools and technology to offer the highest quality, most equitable care. With over 4 billion smartphone users globally, there is an enormous opportunity to increase the accessibility of screening and affordability of care. The modern methods of artificial intelligence, particularly in real time and on device machine intelligence, which allow us to run very complex machine learning models which understand human emotions on very inexpensive and very easily accessible computing hardware, such as the one we're using in a Google Tag. Tag is a small computing module which is designed to go anywhere where you want to put computing in. So the goal of this early R&D project is to see if we can replicate the results of the GitLab using the Google Tags. If we can do this, this means that we can replicate the same type of analysis in the lab outside in the real world. So fragmented data impacts everyone, the patients, the nurses and doctors delivering care and more. Improving on the flow of data across healthcare systems referred to as interoperability is key to ensuring optimal patient experience and outcomes. Last week, we announced a new partnership with Meditech to take a step forward in interoperability. This partnership aims to combine our data harmonization, search and summarization capabilities from Google Health's Care Studio product suite and integrate them into the Meditech Expanse electronic medical record system. And lastly, since we know that being healthy is impacted by where we live, learn, work and play, we also partner to support healthier communities. Some health workers often need to deliver care in areas with unreliable connectivity. We've designed the SDK to allow Android apps to run offline with no connectivity by storing and processing data locally. The Fire SDK is part of our mission to democratize access to high quality care through mobile devices. Ultrasound technology is becoming more portable and more affordable, yet up to half of all birthing parents in developing countries are not screened at all while pregnant. Among the barriers to access is a shortage of expertise in reading ultrasounds. Our goal is to simplify barriers to acquiring and interpreting ultrasounds. How do we do that? By supporting more people like midwives and community health workers to provide care. Power Mom First and Power Mom is about everyday people working with researchers to find an answer, to find solutions. We can't fight systemic racism without the people who are experiencing it, without their input, without their feedback, without their information. And we as doctors, as researchers, want to work with this population. We want to make it easier, we want to hear you, and we want to make it better. We know building tools for some of the population isn't good enough. We cannot leave anyone behind.